filming with my Canon camera. Uh, I gotta get the focus right. Oh, I had to set all these settings and all these things. Oh, shit, where am I looking at? Oh, I'm looking at here. Oh, I'm looking at here. And oh, that's about it. Uh, so I put it in, on, on top of my speakers. <laughs> my speakers are so dusty. They're so dusty. Um, so it's 9.43 a.m. I have to go to the job center because I have my weekly appointment. It's part of my mutual obligation requirements. I don't know if this is focused. I think it's focused, right? It's focused. focused. That's what it ah, that's good enough. Um, so yes, I got up at 5 five today and uh, you know I uh, in my morning routine ate my breakfast well my weight today was 64.4 so I am kind of pleased with that 64.4 so hopefully we can get that going uh, so, yeah, I don't know oh, man, I really want that to go oh my god it's really bad Anyway, don't worry about it. I'll get, I'll get onto it. <laughs> uh, that's kind of depressing. Seeing that. Um. Uh. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully that'll get better. Um. Yeah, and then, and I uh, what did I do? I chopped up the veggies, so I prepared my veggies for my uh veggies too and um, I have to uh, I did apply for 16 jobs I, I did I had you know uh, but uh, I'm I really need to step up that uh, that objective of uh, uh, well you know establishing Getting a foothold uh, in the legal career, which is what I'm uh, thinking of pursuing. Um, really, and uh, yes, yeah, so um, I'm planning on uh, working on my self-discipline. I've been uh, listening to this audio book called um, "Running on Empty." And it is a fantastic book on emotional neglect. And uh, I've been emotionally neglected as a child. Uh, there are so many ways that I was neglected. Uh, and that has profoundly shaped my life. And uh, I need to sort of reparent myself. Um, yeah, so. It's a fantastic book. It's called, it's by Joanice Webb. She's got a website, and there are all these uh, cheat sheets or something, where you know. Um, so I'm almost complete with the. Almost finished it. I think I've got an hour left. Um, I also ordered the print version of that book. Um, it's called Running on Empty. And what does Running on Empty mean? Running on Empty means. Well, this is what I think, is that um, you basically feel very tired, exhausted, empty. You do not have the emotional fuel uh, to live life um, because you're not in touch with your emotions um, because you were neglected. So um, you really, uh, you know, that's what it means to run on empty is to not have an internal emotional life with which you're connected with because you need emotions in order to feel, uh, you know, like life is meaningful, psychologically, um, yeah, you need you need to get in touch with your emotions, and um, you know, I have emotions, but I don't, uh, 
sometimes uh, I'm not sure what I'm feeling and you know there's about there's this exercise on identifying your emotions and you know, describing it and saying why are you feeling this way uh, and the body is a very uh, fantastic indicator the body can tell you what you're feeling you know, if you're feeling tired but the, you know the, the mind can play tricks but the body <laughs> this is other book called was it the body never lies or something it's by alice miller uh, i got that one as did i order it i think i got it on oh i got an audio book of that as well as well as the uh john bradshaw's uh healing the shame that binds you and he's also got another one called uh well um welcome home or something where I, I listened to a bit of that where it's about trying to get back to your inner child and trying to uh, you know basically try and reparent yourself so you know it's uh so I, that's, I found this to be very very helpful very helpful indeed um, so I've been doing a, a lot of uh, listening to audiobooks and you know doing things like that and I think they've been very helpful to me <laughs> yes they have yes they have and, and I hope to continue with that self therapy and uh, I think that should be enough. Mm -hmm. I I should do. Why am I filming with this camera? Oh, I did five minutes of voice practice, but I really have a lot to work on. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, I, don't know. I have a long way to go, but uh, starting and consistently doing it is good. It's raining here. I think we're going to, it's March, so it's going to be, what is this, this is a, uh, what happened, what is the thing, autumn, yeah, autumn and then winter, I think we're in autumn, we're in the autumn stage, we're in the autumn. Oh man, I need to go to my uh, endocrinologist to get my implant. I don't know if that's, uh, I have to find out which week that is. It's sometime in March. Last time I missed the appointment and I had to pay the fee and it's like, ah. Oh. See, this is what I need to get my, uh, get my life under control. And I feel like I am uh, going to, but I also need to make an appointment for uh, my anal fissure problem. Ah. Oh. I need to see a specialist. I don't want to get cancer. Oh, in that area, it'll be very horrible. And, um, oh, you know, I don't want to suffer like that. So I hope it's not serious. But anyway, so I have to do lots of things. I've been putting off procrastinating. Procrastinating here. I like this this thing over here. It's, it's, they call it something. It's like uh, it's a it's a decolletage or something. I don't know. Okay. I like that. I like the way that looks. It's like it's like before. It's like you could you couldn't see that with that bone, but after you know, I've been on hormones, I could gradually see that. Probably because whatever muscle was here was being gone is going away and. Um, you know how my breasts are coming down like that, so you can see the um, this collarbone thing. Whatever. Hey, uh, I need to get one more of this because this is what's dying. It's basically dying. Just checking this recording. I'm recording. Oh yeah, why why am I recording in this? I just want to see a different camera, different quality. Uh, Different quality. Hmm. 
Oh, so, oh, I forgot about the, the lipstick thing. Mm. My very basic makeup. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, I, 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 does my face look fat? I don't know. I feel like it does a little bit fat. I don't know. Your hair like it does. Mm. I don't need to do any more than that. Mm. Oh, man, I got gray hair. I used to get like gray hair when I was like teenagers almost. I'm getting too old. Oh no. Oh, I've got gray hair. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing it. I'm just doing normal. The other thing on my shoulder is going to be so big. It's not like... No, no, no. I do have a little bit of... There's my pips area, so... I know I don't really like that in my shoulder. I don't know what I can do. I'll see how I look when I lose more weight. Uh, maybe... maybe uh, see how that looks. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, this is... Oh my god, this is like so directly in front of the light. Uh, uh, <laughs> see how it's tight. That's me. As you can see, my shoulder doesn't look that big uh, <laughs> from here. From this angle. Okay. Uh, uh, does it look that big? No, it doesn't look that big. It just look, look, look. Here is sort of like here. Okay. Hips, 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 hips. And yeah, so it does. It, it, it is kind of like stand out. <laughs> Other bit. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on my voice. I gotta work on my voice, and yes, I gotta shave this area. <laughs> Sometimes there's hair growing there. Uh, I gotta shave it. Uh, I'm just shave. Oh, good. I did. Anyway, so I'm gonna go now. I gotta go. <sighs> oh, I gotta talk about these movies I got. Um, you know. So, <clears throat> Uh, 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 uh. Let's go. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I gotta go today. And what am I gonna do? Yeah, I got, I got, you know, lots of things to do. clean up the room and uh, uh, you know, so you know, stuff to do and all that. Yeah. Cloudy, it's uh, yeah. you know. Oh, okay. Tug is back. Tug. Uh, I don't know why I'm so self conscious here about my shoulder. It's not that big, it's, it's. I just make it up to be much bigger than it's. Uh, you know? I've seen women have big shoulders. <laughs> Now I'm just my shoulders is okay, I think. But I do know what I said. I was pretty quick. I just had to hand it in. <laughs> my job search record. She's doing something else. So. She goes, "Good girl, well done." <laughs> I still have to get used to that. When I, when I, <laughs> when the lift opened, this guy just came in and he was like, uh, and I was like trying to film, I was like, oh, he had this annoyed look on his face, I'm like, mm, sorry. <laughs> that was triggering. Oh no, he was annoyed. He was annoyed. <laughs> so I went to, oh man. This really sucks because my mom said she's, she's going to go shopping, so, so 
I'm gonna have to wait around here. Okay. So I called my mother. She's she just started shopping. <laughs> I didn't know when I was going up the lift, this guy came in and said, Hello, what are you doing? And then, he's trying to talk to me, but I just like, oh, I, just, I didn't feel comfortable talking to him. Because he's very self conscious at that point. Um, yeah, so, see, this is why if I can get more confident with my voice, I would be more confident in these situations. Uh, at home and I just wanted to show the movies I got uh, this is Carol I have this on iTunes it's a pretty good movie um, this actress Rooney Mara she's very good so uh, it's got six, six Academy Award nominations I didn't even know that but it's about the relationship between these two women in the 1950s New York yeah so it was a very nice movie skillfully acted and whatnot uh, and this is uh, The Shallows starring Blake Lively uh, it's a good film um, I feel like this film is sort of uplifting at the end it's sort of like a Got a redemptive message. I don't know. Uh, sort of dealing with grief and uh, trying to come out the other side of grief. So it's, not, it's sort of like uh, she's battling the shark, but the shark could also be a meta metaphor for something about loss of meaning. <laughs> so something like you, you, getting through some difficulty in life. Uh, that's what I thought. This is The Witch. Apparently, it just got very good uh, reviews. Uh, it's a horror film. So, hmm. So, my, uh, so, strong supernatural themes and violence. The Witch, a New England folk tale. Intelligent and haunting. So, yes. Uh,. Huh. The aspect ratio is 1.66 to 1, which is a very odd aspect ratio. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so those are the movies. I did my thing. I got back home by the bus. And my mom said she got, ho she got home at the same time. So, <laughs> so I was going to relax and chill out a bit and all that. And, uh, yeah. So, mm, that's it.